Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing uh, the stomach wall histology. Okay, right. Uh, so, uh, we've now looked at the epithelial cell layers, we've looked at the outer layer of cells uh, which faces into the lumen of the stomach. Okay, what we now want to see is what lies underneath this. So basically, what you then have is a layer of connective tissue called lamina propria. Okay, and this ends when you have a layer of smooth muscle cells known as muscularis mucosi. So I'll put this here. Okay, so basically underneath all of this outer layer of the stomach, okay, uh, you then have a layer known as muscularis mucosi. Okay, so this is a layer of smooth muscle cells here. So this layer is called, oh dear, how, where am I going to write this? Um, I don't want to use up any of this space that I've got left, because I'm running out of space anyway. Um, so, I'll have to bring this in sort of like here. Right, so this is muscularis, okay, and it's muscularis mucosae because it's within the layer of the stomach wall that is called the mucosa. Okay, so all of this gap between the muscularis mucosae layer, which I'm going to colour in red here because it's a layer of smooth muscle, Okay, and uh, the basement membrane, all of this is just connective tissue, okay, so I'll colour it in blue. And this connective tissue layer here, between the basement membrane and muscularis mucosae, is called the lamina propria. Okay, so in blue, all of this connective tissue is called lamina propria. And of course, you will have blood vessels in there, you'll have... Um, little capillaries and um, little arterioles and little venules and things like that and also lymphatic blood vessels, things like that. Okay, then underneath the muscularis mucosae, what you then have is another layer of connective tissue, okay, and this is called the submucosa. Okay, and to understand why this is called the submucosa, we need to understand what the mucosa is. So basically, when people say mucosa, that is another name for all of what we have discussed so far, apart from the submucosa, of course. So, all the way from the columnar epithelial cells, through the basement membrane, through the lamina propria, which of course will be a differing thickness depending on whether you're looking underneath a gastric pit or not, okay, uh, and also including the muscularis mucosae, all of that is called the mucosa, okay, so it will be called the gastric mucosa, like so. Right, so this portion of connective tissue underneath that is then called the submucosa. Now, what's in the submucosa? Well, you'll have arterioles and venules and things like that. So here is an arteriole, let's say this is a venule, and of course they will have branches which come off them, smaller little branches, which will go into uh, the lamina propria. So they'll go through the um, muscularis mucosae, into the lamina propria, and they will then branch into capillaries, and then the capillaries will reconverge to form little venules, which will then go back and join the bigger venule, which is within the submucosa, and they'll supply, obviously, the columnar epithelial cells and the other t cells which are in the lamina propria with blood. Okay, so this is an arteriole here, okay, and then we've also got a venule. So, what's underneath, then, the submucosa is the next question. Okay, so underneath the submucosa we now have three layers of muscle. Okay, three layers of smooth muscle. Okay, now the first is what's known as the oblique layer of smooth muscle. Okay, the second is then called the circular layer of smooth muscle. And the third is called the longitudinal layer of smooth muscle cells. And basically the difference between the three is the orientation of the smooth muscle cells. So basically, in the oblique layer, the smooth muscle cells will be oriented uh, on the stomach in this sort of a direction. Okay, so if you're looking at the stomach, of course, um, the smooth muscle cells in this layer will be oriented in this sort of a direction. This is the oblique direction. Okay, so if we try and draw uh, this, 
And remember what we are looking at here. We're looking at a little section of the wall here. Okay, so what will happen is the smooth muscle cells will sort of be going in a direction that's half coming out towards us and half going in that sort of direction. So basically they're coming diagonally out like that towards us. So I need to somehow try and draw this. So, you know, you'll see a bit of them, okay, when we take a cross section, but you won't see their full length, okay? Now, in the circular layer, what's happening is the smooth muscle cells are all oriented in a circular direction, okay? So let me highlight each of the directions up. So this is the oblique direction that we've got in vivid purple here. In the circular direction, you'll be going in this sort of a direction, like so, okay, in turquoise. So this is the circular direction, okay? So you'll be going round the lumen in a circle, basically. Okay, now, if we think about where we've cut into, we've cut into here and we're now looking at that plane, the uh, smooth muscle cells will be going straight into the page. They'll be moving in this sort of plane. So all we will see in this cross section is just a circle, a circular cross section of those smooth muscle cells. And finally, those in the longitudinal uh, section of smooth muscle, they will be going in this sort of a direction here, down the stomach, basically. So when we look at a cross section in this position, they will be completely in the plane, basically. So we'll see their entire length, like so. Okay, so you'll have these three layers of smooth muscle cells, and then surrounding that, you'll just have a final little layer, uh, a mono layer of cells known as the serosa. Okay, so then we'll have the serosa here, like so. Okay, and this is the serosa. Right, and that then completes the layers of the stomach wall. Okay, so you've got the mucosa, the um, submucosa, then the muscular layer here, so all of these three muscle layers can be grouped together as the muscle layer, okay, and then finally the serosa, so you can group the uh, wall of the stomach into these four sections, the mucosa, which is uh, responsible for the secretion of gastric juice, 2.5 litres of it a day, and then the submucosa, which supports the mucosa, it has all the big blood vessels which supply the cells of the mucosa, then underneath that we've got the muscular layer, and then underneath that uh, the serosa.